Benjamin Franklin, the story behind the legend. Benjamin Franklin was born to his parents on January 17, 1706. He was the 10th son of 17 total children. Ben was a very bright boy, but his family could not afford to send him away for school. Instead, he became the apprentice for his brother, who was a printer. When Benjamin Franklin became a teenager, he decided to run away from home. On October 6, 1723, he arrived in Philadelphia. It was on this day that he saw his future wife. He found work as an apprentice and succeeded at his job. Benjamin Franklin then married Deborah Reed and fathered a son named William with a different woman. A year later, Ben bought a newspaper called the Pennsylvania Gazette. It was the first newspaper to publish a political cartoon. Unrecognizable to myself. Ben Franklin did a lot of very good things for the city of Philadelphia. He helped form the library company, headed projects to pave, clean, and light the streets of Philly, and also helped to form the Pennsylvania Hospital, which still exists today. Franklin was a very smart man. He invented many things, but his most famous experiment had to do with electricity. Here's a picture of him conducting the experiment with a kite in a thunderstorm. In the 1750s, Franklin became very interested in politics and what was happening in the colonies at that time. He traveled to England to represent Pennsylvania in an argument over who would rule and control the colonies. He remained there and also represented Pennsylvania, Georgia, New Jersey, and Massachusetts. After returning to Philadelphia, Franklin was elected to the Second Continental Congress. He was chosen to serve on a committee that drafted the Declaration of Independence. After he signed the Declaration, he was sent to France to gain help for winning the independence of our nation. Everyone can agree that Ben Franklin had a full and rewarding life. So when his death came on April 17, 1790, at the age of 84, many people were sad. But Ben Franklin's legend lives on in the many gifts he gave our country. We can thank him for bifocals, freedom, and many quotes about life. <laughs>